um, you know, second in all of Southeast Asia at the moment. Taigu, I believe, is 14. The last time these two played uh, was at a community event, and that was a 3-1 in Keith's favor. They played at the Spring Championships in 2023, and that was a double elimination uh, from Keith both times. So if Taigu gets this win, that will be the first time in any recent history since 2021 that he would have taken a game or a set uh, from uh, from Keith. Well, I'll give Tiger the benefit of the doubt and say they can find a way here, but it's not really a, a good look as we're looking at this game one. As uh, Keith closes out that first stock pretty, pretty well, pretty single-handedly. So, uh, honestly, it, yeah, you might be right. I love being good more than anything. Oh, and once again, <laughs> dodging death. I don't know what it is. But uh, people have been getting punished left and right through like dodging down through they get hit by like Katari's like neutral light. And Keith is just resetting so well. Keith is hitting things like neutral light, Keith is hitting things like down in, and is intentionally waiting and not doing anything, right? He's not going through any immediate follow-ups because he wants to punish that dodge and he wants to KO you for it. Yeah. As we continue to push forward here though. Tiger's trying to find a way to battle back. We got that bow in hand. You know, they utilized that bow very well against Plum in the last set here. But Keith Bear, this movement is beautiful. It's so crisp. It is so intimidating, too. Oh, my. <laughs> okay, you know what, Dara? Maybe, maybe you were right. All right, maybe, maybe, maybe you were right. I'll, I'll let you have it. <laughs> Yeah, Keith, I mean, Keith is playing really well right now. Um, Keith is, playing Keith is just well. looking for the side light, gets a neutral light, and then immediately goes for the follow-up that time instead of waiting. Um, Taigu is a little bit more hesitant to just dodge that time around, just taking quite a few hits. The D light into the side does come out, though, but the question is, is it too late? Taigu is on the last stock at the moment. Keith still has two stocks, sliding off with that neutral light, just holding onto the stage here. Taigu... Oh my god, getting mixed up by that D sig. Just not expecting it at all. Goes for the three times. Keith, Keith, please stop. Cut it out. Keith is just flexing at this point. I, I feel like Keith just knows, like, they're like he's like, hey, listen, I, I feel like I am better than everybody in my path, and I'm just gonna play like it. As you can see right here, uh, a strong two stock. And man, you know, it, it really kind of puts into perspective about how big of an upset. This must have been for Sphinx earlier because Keith is playing like an absolute monster. So it, it just makes me wonder what was Sphinx able to do? Crisp. Three, two, Crisp is the one, is what exactly I would call it. But yeah, we are seeing this switch now from Tiger. I mean, I, it's kind of like a needed switch. Like, like I've got to get something else going here. I've got to see what else I can, you know, get revved up and the X do it all right to get started. Yeah, getting a couple of hits in a much better start this time around. Um, then game number one, I'm curious to see how Taiku is going to be able to make this back. But look at Keith's follow-ups. Again, just being so creative with these weapon tosses and now, um, you know, like, not necessarily having a weapon on hand, but still, the Taiku is so menacing. I mean, yeah, that's just kind of the name of the game. It's just, uh, just being dominant at the beginning and just making your opponent feel nervous. <laughs> I thought we were gonna see like three more of those. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we do. That dash back into the like aggression just like really just mixed up Tiger. Uh, but this Bryn, I think is the right play at the moment. They do take a a little bit of a lead. You know, so having to switch up into uh, Spear and Axe, maybe what they needed, you get a little bit more reach. You're not as involved in the gameplay. Like you're not as like, in uh, Keith's face, but that's probably only gonna last for so long, and it is, and man, Keith, you know, sometimes people get sent to elimination side and they just start playing better. Maybe that's what we're seeing. I just have to see, but already initiating with that side light, coming in there, gets that neutral light and into the neutral light as well, holding back onto the stage. Okay, Tiger, I don't know why we were pressing a side zig from across the stage, but uh, I would say that they're quite lucky that Keith did not have a bigger punish waiting for him mm -hmm. at the moment. So uh, definitely got off a little bit then, and now, Okay, that's gonna be another neutral light, just waiting for the dodge back down. Taigu has basically stopped dodging back down um, after getting hit by that Katari neutral light. Oh, okay, I like that empty jump, just kind of like waiting to see what Tiger's gonna do. Granted, they didn't press any button, they didn't get a punish here, but like 
that is just something that's gonna sit in Tiger's head like later on. It's like, okay, he just did this. I'm probably gonna have to try and press a button just to see if I can get a counter hit out of that. But as you can see, Keith already taking that next stock. The, the Tiger just sitting at the edge, just like, what do I do? And look, he's inviting him. Hey, come get this weapon. <laughs> Come get it, and you will get punished for it, trying to make a jump for it. Okay, that's two recoveries. And again, going through that, that same like GC side sync. Doesn't connect at that time of down though. Just backing up a little bit. Side light into the neutral light. Keith is dealing a lot of damage off the Taigu. How do you make it back from the point? Oh man, I have no idea. Uh, but, I mean, for one, <laughs> like. <laughs> I mean, we're just really seeing Keith a certain, uh, a certain level of dominance with the guitars on hand. Just winning so many of the different reactions, leading and punishing Taigu's defensive options. Um, but already, a really nice opening for Taigu. Quite a few big hits. My goodness. <laughs> There we go. Finally gets a weapon in hand. I mean, Tiger definitely started off hot, but man, it's just like once Keith gets a hammer or the guitars, you know. Wow, that was almost a very early stock. Wow. Yeah, just continues to put out this pressure. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, uh, I was just going to say, Tiger, you should jump again. The Keith. Oh, once again, closing out with that side sick. Keith has been making Sentinel side sick wink with him. And Tiger has just not really anticipated it at high, um, you know, sort of like damage points in the game. That is going to be the KO as well. Tiger now just playing better than before, keeping himself, um, you know, just as even as possible here, making sure that Keith doesn't build up too big of a lead. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right. Yeah. This is getting so... Oh, it's Tiger. Like, listen, I appreciate the aggression, but please just get back to the stage. And he does. Tries to find a way to kind of keep that uh, stage control. But man, <laughs> Keith is just fighting their way through. These guitars are just so insane. Gets that side light, gets that neutral light, and Taigu this time just dodges up and out of there. Make sure that he doesn't get put into the blender. The stage spike with the side of, and the weapon toss was just enough to close it out. Taigu did not get that dodge back up until the very end, and by that point, he was down a little bit too low. All of a sudden, Keith has once again a big lead and is looking to initiate down and side lights galore. Uh, this is just terrifying, man. Keith is just, he is a man on a mission. And that mission is winning this entire bracket today. And so far, I mean, I, I believe that that could very well be the case. But it looks like we might have another 3-0 in the books today, Tara, as we uh, continue to push forward. Okay, keeps that stock alive. Oh, wow. Keith is so lucky. Yeah, that dodge <laughs> came back. Just touched the very edge of the stage thing, but it does not matter because still, Taiku did a good job of cleaning up that stock. The 1-2-1 one, one right now, um, Taiku can do this. Yeah, Tiger can do this, but like, my belief is, is not very high. And that has nothing to do with Tiger. It just has to do with Keith. As long as Keith is on stage, as long as Keith has some sort of weapon. I mean, even the hammer. But the Katars, like, it's like game over at that point, right? But the weapon gets knocked off here. Oh my god. Able to get that catch. Tiger picking up the sword again. Keith took so many different hits still being denied from picking up another weapon and Taigu a little bit too hungry through that KO Keith was able to pick up the guitars the D-Light into the side who comes out and Taigu said hey that's enough through the O's for today I'm at least gonna take out one game here really good stuff really good job just denying Keith from getting back onto the stage over and over I loved Taigu's solo gameplay that time around he had his basic follow-ups down but the thing that he did best was just keep Keith out when, yeah, uh, because Keith was just killing it. But it seems like Tiger has found some sort of answer. However, I'm not going to count Keith out because, like, he's still got plenty of time to make adaptations. Like, if this is to go to a game five, that's two games worth of data that Keith has to work with. But, I mean, you still got to execute. And maybe he's, like, going to dial back in. Maybe he was messing around a little bit that last game. Uh, but let's see what happens. Taigu just, again, really good spacing, just playing second beat. This is what it's called, second beat. Like, you're not the one that's initiating, you're waiting for somebody else to press something, and then you're playing reactively. Taigu cleaning up that fully stock, and now with a... In, that is a comfortable... That is a comfortable lead if I've ever seen one. Keith is looking a little lost for now on how to actually approach against the soil. Mm -hmm. I mean, we saw a character switch from Keith earlier. I mean, I'm not going to say, you know, he needs to make a character switch right now. We still have a whole game to go through. And there we go. Closes out that stock, taking minimal damage as well. It's not as 
as well as you know coming back clean stock taking uh taking the stock right back immediately but this really is not that bad either jumping into such an aggressive opening there just to come into the neutral light but doesn't find much else off of it but Finally, finding a couple of good cubbies, finding a couple of downers, and Tiger, really good news, really good just to get off me option, right? Because he wanted that good, and it was denied from doing so. Okay. That's a little bit of a scary spot here. You have to deal with these guitars, just racking up damage very fast. What an aggressive burst option there. Taking the stock. My goodness, Keith. That was so fast. That was so crazy. Katara Saida, that angle is just so funny. It's just, it's nasty. It's so difficult to actually come back after getting hit by that move. Um, but now at the moment, Keith is just, uh, just dealing so much damage once again, getting that side light. Taigu finally just able to swat him away for a temporary amount of time, but you're going hit for hit right now when you have a deficit. And if you go hit for hit when you have a deficit, you're just going to end up uh, running out of pawns. You're gonna be the one that ends up losing that game. Keith, getting that side light, getting that end light, dealing so much damage. Oh, okay. Okay, some great damage to kind of rack up the damage on the stock. And Keith, wow. I I couldn't really get a thought for him because Keith was just going insane. These guitars in his hand, that's a different beast altogether. What is that? Yeah. Man? He, he bites and he doesn't let go. He just really keeps up the pressure super well. He's making sure that he's like constantly on top of the defensive options.